Hello friends, uh, Esten here. So in this video, I'm going to show you an update for one script. And uh, this update is a new feature added to Google Docs. And uh, this feature is called Easy Blog. So basically, this new feature in Google Docs is allow you to, to post a blog from this document. Basically, turn this document into a Google Blog. And uh, so let me just give you a very quick demo here. So once you open this sidebar here in, the, in this easy blog, and it's going to grab the title of the document as a title of your blog. So you can do an update here if you want. And uh, then it's going to check your account. So if you have any blog created, if you don't have any blog, you won't see this page here, okay? So I'm going to give you a warning because you don't have any blog. And then you need to select a blog to create this post, right? And uh, if I'm trying to do a test here for our projects in this blog, and for the blog type, you have two options. Okay, well, you can create post or you can just create a simple page if you want. And for the post, you have this option for labels or tags. Uh, they are comma separated, okay? And uh, for post, you also have this option to create a draft only. So if you want just, uh, just, want, just want to create a draft instead of publish directly. So if this is uh, checked, it's going to be created as a draft. And if this is unchecked, it's going to be published. Uh, directly after this creation, okay? And uh, the last uh, one, the last, last checkbox here uh, is basically is to kind of fix an issue for the Google blog. And uh, due to, if you have a lot of image on the, on the uh, post, so like for example, I have too many images here, like this one, this one, and uh, uh, to because we have some kind of issue for some themes they are not loaded if too many image so it's going to only load a few of the post i think two of them in the home page if we don't insert a read more after the first image so i need to insert a something like this in the code okay uh, to fix the issue for this kind of like a bug or then I don't know, but just this right now is a issue with Google block. So, uh, by, so by default, this is checked. So I'm going to show you what I mean here uh, after I have this post created. So then if I'm trying to create, it's going to take the whole document and uh, create a post in my blog. So you will see this is my blog up, up work projects and uh, the post, so if I'm checking the, the URL, you will see here, this is the post and this is going to be the title, I think. Uh, and you will see here, so the image, all of them are here. So this style is just a theme, okay? Um, it's not the, exactly the this, this, this style you see in the document, but you can, apply some custom CSS to do that. But this is just a theme. If I change the theme, so this background could be a little bit different. And uh, let me show you what I mean by the, uh, the read more. So if I'm inspecting this page and uh, I'm doing a search for, I think it's called for more. It's not here on this page. So maybe let me show you in the blogger manager. So if I go to my blog and choose upward project. So you will see this is the, the page, not the page, this is the post we just created, right? So if I go to the edit mode and I'm gonna do a search for more. So you will see here this tag, 
this tag is added, I think uh, before the second image. Okay, so it is the, before the second image, that means it's after the first image. Uh, so th that's basically what this. Uh, where am I? So this one, uh, insert read more after first image. Uh, it's basically what this checkbox is doing. Okay, in the block for you, and um, you also can create a page if you want. So if you select a page, and then you don't have the option to add tags because the text is only for post, and uh, you don't have the option to create a draft uh, page. Uh, so right now we don't have that option in the API. So you can have a page created. So if this is a page, so let's say this is a one script page test. And uh, in the same blog, I can create a page by using this document. And uh, I think the content is basically the same, but you will see this is a P, so this is a page, it's not a blog, right? And um, the content, I think, is basically the same. And you will see in the blog manager here, so if I go to the pages, so you will see this is the page here, and we also have this more comment here. So to insert, it, this is basically is not you, you will not see it in the uh, in the website, but this is a workaround to fix the the Google Sim issue. Okay, so this tool I think is kind of handy for you to do a lot of uh, post, and especially. I think the good document may be a little bit easier for the layout if you want. And, uh, and that's basically about this new feature. And uh, this new feature, uh, we have to add the new API, the Google Blog API to the add-on. Maybe you need to do the reauthorization again because I added, added a new scope to the add-on. Okay, so I think that's it for this video. Thank you. Bye-bye.